Okay, we're going to make a quick video on how to locate and cut the vent hole in your metal roofing. So you can see we've already done that here. So we'll just go over how we did it. What we have is a panel overlap right here, right here. So this is the piece you want to cut. And depending on where the vent stack is, you're going to measure down from the top or up from the bottom. Since we're close to the bottom, we'll measure from the bottom. So this is your trailing edge on your panel. You're going to measure up right to the vent stack, which is 26 and a half inches. And we have a, this is a three inch vent stack. And the, that's three inch inside or three and a half inch OD. This is your overlap, so this would be the panel you're going to cut, right? So you measure over from the overlap. Overlaps. You measure over 21 inches. So you measure over 21 inches. And it's going 21 to 24 and a half. It's actually three and a half inches. And this one would be 26 and a half. This one and a half. And Two, three, thirty inches on the top side. So those are your measurements for where to locate the hole. That'll be your four outside uh, extremes. You want to add an extra half inch, subtract a half inch from your 26 and a half, so you're at 26. You add an inch onto the third, or a half inch onto the 30, so you have 30 and a half. You want to make a half inch clearance, basically. You could go with a one inch clearance all the way around. That might make it easier. This would be 20 and a half and 25. So those are your outside edges. You'd mark those on the panel and you take a, a can or any kind of a circle object that fits on those outside dimensions and you trace your hole. Then after you've traced your hole in the exact spot with magic marker you drill couple holes in through the panel right on the line and you use aircraft snips you use any type but these get into real small spots little holes and stuff and they work really well so I'd recommend these aircraft snips they're only about 10 or 15 bucks and well worth it to sell get ready to drill a hole and just go all the way around easily. And after you get your piece cut out, you can then drop your panel on just like normal, screw it down. What we've used down here is roofing cement, but even better than roofing cement would be something like silicone. Silicone would probably do a better job of sealing and it's a permanent seal. That's just a temporary seal. And last thing you want to put on is your boot. That's your roof boot. And you can see that this is this will have a bit of an interference along this particular ridge. So what you could do is you could trim this edge down so it fits right in this little valley. 
Same thing over here. Trim this one straight to fit into this valley. And when you drop it on, put a real healthy bead of silicone, silicone, and silicone, or acrylic silicone caulk. Put a bunch of that on. Drop it on. Then you can use your your screws, your roofing screws, to screw this down. It's that simple. It slips over and screws down. Easy enough. So that's it. That's how you do it. We'll see you on the next one.